Elon Musk, life hack how to follow your idea and never give up. The biography of Elon Musk is a guide on how to believe in the impossible and never give up. Let's take a look at the facts. What can be inherited by ancestors? Elon Reeve Musk was born on June 28, 1971 in Pretoria, South Africa. His mother, Mae Musk, a model and dietitian born in Canada, but raised in South Africa. His father, Errol Musk, a South African electromechanical engineer, pilot, sailor, consultant and property developer. His father was a very entrepreneurial man and this could be part of what gave rise to Elon's hard work ethic. Elon's grandfather in 1948 emigrated to Canada to South Africa. He dismantled his plane, moved it to a new place of residence, then assembled it and travelled on it halfway across the world, to Norway and Australia. Perhaps Elon inherited his willingness to take risks from his grandfather. Musk has a younger brother, Kimbal, who was born in 1972 and a younger sister named Tosca who was born in 1974. My childhood cannot be called happy, Elon says frankly. After his parents divorced in 1980, Musk lived mostly alone with his father in the suburbs of Pretoria. This choice he made two years after his parents divorced and subsequently regretted, he had a very difficult relationship with his father, who was very aggressive and violent. Musk had become estranged from his father, whom he has described as a terrible human being. Almost every evil thing you could possibly think of, he has done. Living with his father was really harmful for him. Elon was an awkward and introverted child, and this could be mainly because Elon was bullied throughout his childhood. He was once hospitalized after a group of boys threw him down a flight of stairs. He attended several schools before graduating from Pretoria Boys High School. This could be because of trouble with bullies or trouble between his parents that caused his movement between schools. He developed an interest in computing while using the Commodore, which is quite an old computer system. He learned computer programming using a manual and by age 12, solved the code of video game that he created called Blaster to PC and Office Technology Magazine for approximately $500, which is an incredible amount of money for a 12 year old. By the way, you can still play this game, it is available online. In an interview with CBS, Elon's mother said that after the divorce they lived very hard, but she always knew that her son was a genius although she was not sure if he would succeed. He could be a genius who lives his whole life in the basement of his parents' house, but he so wanted to make his dreams come true that I believed in him, May said. Elon Musk always wanted to move to the US, so he applied for a Canadian passport through his Canadian-born mother. And while he was awaiting the documents for his passport, he attended the University of Pretoria for five months. This learning and applying for Canadian citizenship allowed Musk to avoid mandatory service in the South African military, which if he had done, could have changed the course of his life forever. All of this shows the hardship of his younger years, but despite all this, he grew up to be an extremely wealthy and the multi-millionaire we know. I think college is basically for fun, they're not for learning, Musk said. Elon Musk came to Canada in June 1989, unfortunately, Musk failed to locate his great uncle in Montreal and instead stayed at a youth hostel, which was quite difficult for him since he was socially awkward and didn't get along with people very well on a social level. He then travelled west to live with a second cousin. He stayed there for a year working odd jobs at a farm and lumber mill. It was very hard working and laborious jobs that paid $18 an hour. Together with him, 30 people began to work and only 3 were able to hold out the first week but Elon was able to work there. In 1990, Musk entered Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario, where he studied very hard, honing his skills. Then two years later, he transferred to the University of Pennsylvania, which is where he will graduate in 1997 with a Bachelor of Science, BS degree in Economics and Bachelor of Arts, BA degree in Physics. To pay for his studies, he had a friend set up an underground club in an empty building, which was rented for a penny. There were days when this club was attended by thousands of people per night. In 1994, after his graduation from school, Elon Musk held two internships in Silicon Valley during the summer. One was at an energy storage startup, and at the other internship was Rocket Science Game Startup. Bruce Leake, who is the former lead engineer who had hired Musk, noted, 
He had boundless energy. Kids these days have no idea about the hardware or how stuff works. But he had a PC hacker background and was not afraid to just go figure things out. In 1995, Musk was accepted to a PhD program in energy physics and material science at Stanford University in California. It's interesting to know Musk also created his own school, Ad Astra, translated from the Latin to the stars, right in his own country estate. The project is strictly secret but it's known that traditional education is not popular there. His children and the gifted children of SpaceX employees study there. Great companies are built on great products, Musk said. Musk attempted to get a job at Netscape but never received a response to his job inquiries. He dropped out of Stanford after two days deciding instead to join the internet boom and launch an internet startup which would blow up into a huge multi-million dollar company. In 1995, I thought the internet would be something that would change the world and I wanted to be a part of it. Actually, at first I tried to get a job at Netscape, not start my own company, he says. His first startup was called Zip2. It wasn't the most interesting company since it only developed and marketed internet city guides for the newspaper publishing industry, which maps directions and yellow pages. Elon Musk really wanted to become CEO of his company, but his ambition and ideals were ruined by the boredom that denied him his post as CEO. And as boring as the company sounds, it was a hit and eventually went on to be valued at $307 million and was bought for as much. This ended up with Elon making $22 million for his 7% share of the company. After the sale of the company, Elon bought a McLaren F1 sports car, a training aircraft and received a pilot's license. With the rest of his money in the same 1999, he created the X.com electronic payment system. The startup was one of the first online banks to be federally insured. And within the initial months, over 200,000 customers joined the service. The company's investors saw Musk as inexperienced and replaced him with another person by the end of the year. A year later, when his company merged with his direct competitor, PayPal was born. In 2002, PayPal was acquired by eBay for $1.5 billion, of which Musk received over $100 million, which means he received an astronomically large payout. PayPal is still considered one of Elon Musk's greatest successes, an interesting point to note is that in 2017, Musk purchased the domain x.com back from PayPal for an undisclosed amount, explaining it has sentimental value. Now, if you are to search up x.com, what you will find is a black screen with a singular x displayed in the top left corner of the screen. Elon Musk is also very famous for another company known as Tesla. This is a very well-known company making battery-powered cars that look better and are safer for the environment than any gas-powered car. Associated with Tesla Motors is Solar City, a solar energy company that is one of the leading solar panel manufacturers in the world. Musk's other futuristic project is the Boring Company, which is implementing the idea of an extensive network of underground tunnels to move vehicles and passengers to solve the problem of traffic jams in densely populated metropolitan areas. This idea came to Musk when he himself got stuck in traffic. Many people have heard of SpaceX and its mission to create commercial space travel. We want to open space to people, Elon Musk explained. The first business plan of SpaceX was written on an airplane that flew from Moscow, where Elon was trying to negotiate the purchase of used ballistic missiles. The long negotiations with vodka on the table ended in nothing. Russians didn't take him seriously and called him little boy. After that, Musk decided to make the rocket himself. There is nothing really expensive about rocketry, Musk said at the time. In a short period of 10 years, Musk's company made an engine, several modules of the Falcon rocket and the Dragon spacecraft, which successfully docked with the International Space Station. All of these were done faster and cheaper than other competitors. Commercial space travel and the colonization of Mars are not the only space-related topics Elon Musk is interested in. He's also trying to create a network called Starlink. Starlink is a very interesting idea in which he wants to create a large network of satellites all over the Earth that would allow people to access the internet anywhere in the world. Whether in your home or in the middle of the desert, there will be an internet connection. I work 100 hours a week. Elon Musk. Elon is very dedicated to his projects, so he works very hard with his workers, but no one there works as hard as Elon. 
He works so hard that he often spends nights sleeping in his factories because he spends so much time there that we can work late and get up early in the morning. This is the absolutely insane level of dedication he has in his company. He is said to have cut his work week down to 80-90 to 90 hours when he realized he lacks sleep to be efficient. Would you agree to own several billion dollar companies but sleep in your office or on a plane during night flights, desperately seeking for little time to spend with your kids? Elon Musk is just a man. Elon Musk is a father of five children, all sons, triplets and twins. In May 2020, Elon announced the birth of his sixth son. I'm a good father, says Elon, and I spend a lot of time with my children. Anyway, at work, Elon's character is completely different. He does not tolerate criticism sometimes. He can fire everyone he sees. Employees at his companies exchange information about Musk's mood as they prepare to meet or speak with them. Sometimes, Musk's personality negatively affects the image and value of his company's stocks. Anyway, as you can see, overall, he is a very hard-working man that isn't afraid to put time and effort into his businesses, and is working very hard to build a bigger and brighter future for everyone.